Senegal, also known as the country of Taranga, is a country located in West Africa and renowned for its hospitality. Today we have decided to make you discover Senegal as if you were there. Here are 99 things you will only see in Senegal. Religion is very important in Senegal. More than 95% of the population is Muslim and the remaining percentage represents Christians and animists. The religious centers are also very powerful with different brotherhoods. Morites, Tidianes, Layans. Muslims and Christians in Senegal live in perfect harmony. Moreover, they send each other good food on the occasion of major religious events, such as Easter or the Sheep Festival. Although French is the official language of the country, Wolof is the dominant language. It is a dialect mastered by more than 80% of the population. As for French, it is more common in education, administration and in the business world. The Daris or Quranic schools are traditional institutions where young Muslims acquire the basics of religious and spiritual education. There are children aged 2 to 3 years, adolescent and also adults. Many ethnic groups live together in the country of Taranga and they live in perfect harmony. The most famous are the Wolofs, the Sereras, the Puels and the Jolas. One of the particularities of Senegal is that its inhabitants traditionally eat while sitting on the ground. To do this, a tablecloth or a mat is often used. Rice with fish is the national dish of the country. Prepared with rice, vegetables and fresh fish, this emblematic recipe is very appreciated for its exquisite taste. In Senegal, rice is an integral part of daily meals and is eaten every day, especially at lunchtime. According to FAO data, rice consumption in Senegal is 90 kg per capita. In Senegal, breakfast is also very important. Families prepare millet semolina with curdled milk, millet pearl porridge or fritters. In the savory version, you can have several types of sandwiches, tuna bread, spaghetti, lentils, etc. Without forgetting the King Calibre infusion or the famous tuba coffee, which is typically Senegalese. This app is considered the national juice in Senegal. It is an infusion of dried hibiscus flowers that is served after meals. In Senegal, you can find tanganas, which are gargets, symbols of street food. People like to have their breakfast and dinner there. The advantage is that you can eat there at low prices, less than 1 euro, and the quantity is often there. There is also in this West African country a city named St. Louis, considered as the most beautiful city in Senegal. It is full of an immense historical and cultural wealth. It is classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has many historical buildings. The forest of Casamance, which covers a total of 30,000 hectares, is known for its rare tree species, especially rosewood, which is in great demand abroad. One cannot talk about Senegal without mentioning the famous island of Gori. This island of Senegal played a great role in the transport of slaves between the 16th and 19th centuries. Now as a tourist attraction, it has some of the most significant places in colonial history, such as the slave house and the one-way door. In Senegal, there is a pink lake which has a pinkish tint and can change color depending on the season. This phenomenon is not the result of pollution as one might think. It is simply due to the high salt content of the water. The surrounding area is fascinating with the numerous salt dunes, herons and flamingos. There is also in Senegal the lighthouse of Mamels, which is located about 4 kilometers from the tip of El Madis in Dakar. It is one of the most powerful lighthouses in Africa. For the followers of the nightlife of Dakar, there is Almadis. There are many nightclubs, huge shopping centers and luxury hotels, an atmosphere that according to some clearly contrasts with the rest of Senegal. In Rafisk, 30 kilometers from Dakar, is Diamniadio, a futuristic city designed to alleviate the residential and commercial clutter in the Senegalese capital. Business centers, hotels, universities, hospitals, residential areas, etc. are all designed to make the city attractive. In Senegal, there are religious cities such as Touba, which has a large mosque and is the city of the Morites, a Muslim brotherhood. Every year, the city welcomes millions of disciples from all over the world for the pilgrimage during the Megal of Touba. 
Senegal has also many cities that are stronghold of the Tidian Brotherhood. There are Tivaouen, Medina Bay, and Nidiasane. Each year, each of them celebrates the Gamu, which commemorates the birth of the Prophet Muhammad and gathers thousands of faithful. The Senegal River, 1,790 kilometers long, borders the country and flows into the Atlantic Ocean. This one waters the country, Mali, Mauritania, and Guinea. Senegal has a bird park that dates back to 1971 and has an area of 60,000 hectares. A wide variety of birds can be spotted there. Pink flamingos, egrets, vultures, spoonbills, Gambian geese, etc. There is also another natural park in the country, Neocolo Koba. This one contains many wild animals such as lions, leopards, monkeys, crocodiles and other wild animals. To the south of Dakar, you will find the city of Embor, which is in the heart of a large fishing port. It is a tourist town where there are many colorful pirogues and a sea rich in swordfish, tuna and marlin. Among the riches of the country we note the gold of Sabadola, the latter being a site nestled within the region of Kedogu. To date, the mine's reserves are estimated at 90 tons of gold metal. Senegal is a major player in peanut cultivation worldwide. It is also one of the main groundnut exporters. If for some, the mango tree is almost unknown, in Senegal it remains very domesticated. Thus, one can sometimes see enormous and imposing mango trees in the courtyards of houses or in the streets. Senegal has the largest megalithic complex in the world with its megalithic circles, scattered between central Senegal and Gambia. These are part of the UNESCO heritage, although the purpose of this site is still a mystery. In Senegal, there is also what is called the Great Green Wall. As its name suggests, this is a wall of vegetation designed to stop the advance of the Sahel and the Sahara deserts. In the land of Taranga, you will find a sacred baobab tree nestled in the heart of Nyangink with a diameter of over 32 centimeters. It is located in the baobab forest of Nyangink and is considered by the inhabitants as a protective tree. The inhabitants of Senegal are deeply attached to the traditional clothes they wear during ceremonies. In fact, some young Senegalese people who are used to wearing casual clothes make it a point to dress in traditional clothes every Friday. In Senegalese society, the dowry is a sine qua non condition for a marriage proposal. Sometimes exorbitant sum are asked to the suitor as dowry to the girl. The amounts can be around 7,500 euros in some cases. Yes, for better or for worse. In Senegal, the culture of hospitality is very developed. Thus, at lunchtime, you will find some doors of the house wide open to welcome possible guests or picnics. Senegalese ceremonies are very particular because it is the occasion for the women to put forward their clothes and their jewels. As for the baptism, it is celebrated one week after the birth of the child. Porridge with curdled milk is served in the morning and everyone is invited. Senegalese women are accustomed to wearing beds around their loins or bain-bain, whether they are single or married. This is considered a sign of seduction on their part. In Senegal, incense plays an important role in the lives of married women. For this purpose, many varieties are offered and there are even stores specialized in the marketing of incense. It is one of the main weapons of Senegalese women to retain their husbands. Oh yeah! In the Senegalese tradition, it is recommended to pour water in front of the door of your house every morning before going out. Thus, you will see some matriarchs pouring cups of water in front of their door because they consider that it brings luck. The inhabitants of Senegal have the habit of using a kind of toothpick that they call sushu. This ensures healthy teeth and is sold at a small price on various street corners. Women in Senegal often like to organize tontines between friends. This is a savings bank where each participant contributes an amount daily or monthly. Then, at the end of each month, a name is drawn at random and the designated person pockets the money. 
In the country, circumcision is an essential step in the life of boys. It is considered a social emancipation that allows them to become real men. During this period of retirement, values such as loyalty, courage and bravery are instilled in them. Griots are important figures in Senegal and their role has evolved considerably over the years. Once historians, storytellers, chroniclers and singers, they now attend weddings and baptisms. Like the ethnic groups, the notion of caste still persists in Senegal. To this effect, there is the caste of the nobles, that of the griots, the blacksmiths, the cobblers, the woodcutters. Sometimes people of different castes are required not to marry together. Although this tradition is considered obsolete, it remains anchored in the minds of the elders and is a taboo subject that opposes the old and new generations. In Senegal, there is also the fake lion, which is a character disguised as a lion who puts paint on his face. Fake lion shows are exclusively organized and attract many people. They chase the people who are caught up in the game. Watch out if you get caught. In Senegal, there is also what is called the Xoi, which is a ceremony of predictions practiced by the ethnic groups of the South. Diviners and healers predict the events and disasters that will occur during the year in the country. Wrestling is the national sport of Senegal, and the most famous wrestlers manage to earn up to 150,000 euros per night. Senegalese wrestling is a contact sport and also includes boxing, hence the name Wrestling with Strikes. In the country, the signers have a specific history. Emblematic women of Senegal, more precisely of the city of St. Louis, the signers, derived from the Portuguese senoras, are a mixed-race women born from the union of a European and an African woman during the colonial era. It is almost impossible to talk about the region without mentioning them. Public transportation is plentiful in Senegal, but the ones you can't find anywhere else are the fast buses. Usually yellow, orange, blue in color. These are Renault vans fitted out to hold about 20 passengers and make urban or interurban trips. There is also another version of buses that is larger and white in color. Senegal has a popular market called the Kermil Market, which is classified as a historical monument. It is the place where you can find good collections of fish, fruits and vegetables, but also seafood. There are also artisans who sell art objects and traditional African accessories. Senegal is home to the tallest African monument, which stands 52 meters high on top of one of the hills of the mammals. Made of a hundred tons of copper and bronze, the Renaissance monument is higher than the Statue of Liberty and the Christ monument in Rio de Janeiro and can be reached by climbing more than 190 steps. The building represents a man, a woman and a child pointing to the horizon with his finger. The country is also home to the Museum of Black Civilizations, which covers an area of 14,000 square meters and borrows its architecture from African huts. You can discover different exhibitions related to black civilizations. Finally, our typically Senegalese selection ends with the Museum of Women, which is dedicated to women from all over the world. The site is located in Guri and exists since 1994. It was 99 things that only happen in Senegal. Which of these things surprised you the most? Do you want to visit Senegal now? Tell us all in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to put a like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss anything of our next contents.